Assalamu alaikum my friends and welcome to my defending tutorial for FIFA 15 and today I want to give you some essential tips in this video how you can improve your defending in FIFA 15. A lot of you asked for this video and finally I have finished it. I am so happy and I hope this video will help you out. If yes, Please make sure to hit that like button down below. It was so much work and it would mean so much for me. So smash that like button, subscribe if you are new to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, you should check out my playlist because there will be every single tutorial, skill moves, finishing tutorial and so on. My first tip is that you have to be patient and you should always try to get as many players behind the ball as possible. Yes, it sounds hard, but you have to be patient. I am struggling every time with it, but it is so important. I think that is maybe the basis of a solid defense in FIFA 50. And in this scene, you can see it how it could look like. My opponent has the ball and I am with Lewandowski in my own half. And that is important if you want to have a solid defense. You can see that I'm trying to get the ball with Lewandowski, but I am failing. And then I just switch the players to get back and then I am successful and can create my own chance to score a goal. And you have to be patient for it. It doesn't work every time, but it is a high percentage that you get the ball if you are patient enough. So try to keep that in mind because that is really important for your defense in FIFA 15. My next tip is pretty simple guys, disturb your opponent by using the push and pull function. It sounds easy but it is dangerous as well, I am going to explain it to you in the next seconds. Use the push and pull function especially on the wings. Be careful using this function in the penalty box because it is so dangerous and you will get a lot of penalties against you if you are not careful enough. Sometimes you should tap the B button or the circle button and sometimes you should hold it. I am always doing it this way that I am going to tap it if I am not that close enough at the striker like in this case. And if I have the contact already I am trying to hold the B button and then it works best. So you can see the push and pull function can be so effective but you, you have to be careful how to use this move. My next tip is force your opponent to play over the wings and be compact in the middle. I will show you a little picture what I mean with this tip. You can see a football pitch right now on your screen. In the red zone you should force your opponent to play over the wings and get compact in the middle. It has simple reasons. First you want to avoid long shot goals. This is annoying in this game. Second. If you are compact in the middle, long through balls will be more difficult for your opponent to play them. And third, headers are not that OP in FIFA 15, so you can let your opponent play over the wings. If he is getting through and is able to cross, you have a high percentage to clear the ball with your defender. Let's have a look at the next scene to clarify the facts. You can see my opponent is attacking and I let him play over the left wing. You can see now that my opponent has several options to play the ball. He could run down the wing, he could play it back to the middle or play a long through ball. But as you can see, I am so compact at the center, of course there is a bit space behind my four midfielders. But if he is going to play this ball, you will see that I am able to get this ball back easily. And this is so important, let your opponent play over the wings and get compact at the center. And my last tip for today guys is again a bit risky. It is the teammate containing and calling a second player by pressing the R1 or the RB button on the Xbox. Do not overuse this button lads. Especially use it on the wings because it is the most effective way to get the ball in these situations. You can see now I am going to switch to my right back which is Philip Lahm. And now you can see that the midfielder has the perfect situation to help me and now I am going to press the R1 button and run back with Philip Lahm to close the wing. And you can see that the player I am not controlling is going to get the ball back and this is really nice but do not overuse it. 
And this was my FIFA 15 defending tutorial guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and this video will help you improving your defending in FIFA 15. If yes, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are new to my channel and of course click on the screen right now to check out my other tutorials. If you have any questions about one of these tips, just let me know it in the comments down below please. And of course let me know what kind of tutorial you want to see next. And we will see us next time. I hope you have a great day. I'm out.